You're an advocate for the importance of remnant assets. Can you tell us what those are and why they can be significant for distressed companies? Sure, sure. So a remnant asset, the way we look at them, they're assets that companies don't think about. It's not primary to whatever their business is. It's something that might not even be on their balance sheet, probably isn't in the, on their balance sheet. And so uh, for all companies, but especially those companies in distress that are mindful of costs and every dollar they can bring in, if you can collect an asset that's out there that they don't even know about, when they're in distress, nothing could be more important. What is an example of a situation where remnant assets helped a distressed company? Well, I can give you a whole bunch of them. I'll start with one. So what we do at, at Financial Recovery Strategies is we identify opportunities for companies to get involved as class participants in a class action proceeding. So to give you a, a concrete example, most recently there was an antitrust uh, lawsuit where if uh, you owned um, or purchased LCD monitors between year Y and year X, you could be eligible as a class participant in this class action lawsuit. If you purchased thousands of LCDs, your, potentially your company could be owed hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars that you didn't even know about because you didn't know it was there. So what we do is we identify those opportunities, we service the client, help them file the claims to make sure that they get their full entitlement as class participants. I can tell you in the LCD case, for example, we had one client that we got over $5 million in recoveries. They didn't even know it was there for them. If you're in distress, how important is that? You want to cut, cut, saving, cut, cut costs, save money, and bring in everything you can. And these things are out there. They don't even know about it. So about how many distressed companies are aware that they might have access to remnant assets? I can tell you that with respect to all companies, statistically, more than 90% of the people that, or companies that are eligible to participate in class actions don't participate. They don't file. They're unaware of it. I have no reason to believe, although I don't have studies, I don't have any reason to believe that distressed companies are any different than other companies. They just don't know about it. And even if they do know about it, it's not core to what they do, so they don't bother. I can tell you that in a place that I was employed before I came to FRS, uh, I brought to their attention that there was eligibility for a particular lawsuit uh, where they could be a class a claimant, and they said, oh, we know about it. And so I said, okay, and they're going to file themselves. I checked back two years later. They did nothing. They just forgot about it. And I'm telling you they left three hundred fifty dollars to $400,000 on the table, an asset that they didn't even know was there. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, distressed companies should certainly take note of this. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about it. Thank you for having me.